uh, Mawlud al Nabi, the, the Prophet's birthday, may Allah uh, have sent his peace and blessings upon him. Um, some clarification, how do we go about celebrating this, if this is something to be celebrated? In Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa when he came to Medina, he found the people of Medina celebrating and playing and in a state of joy on one particular day. So he asked them, what is this date? And they told him that this is a day that we used to celebrate long time ago. And we celebrate this annually. So the Prophet ﷺ denied him from doing this. And he told them that we have only two feasts in Islam. And that is the Feast of Al-Fitr and the Feast of Adha. Mm -hmm. So it is not permissible to have an innovative celebration or feast. Have it been e either if it's, even if it's celebrating the National Day, celebrating Mother's Day, Labor's Day, whatever day you can mention it, it's mm -hmm. not permissible in Islam. Now going to Mawlid al-Nabi, the Prophet Sallallahu birthday, if you want to analyze this to know if it's a sunnah or in an, an innovation, first of all, people celebrate it on the 12th day of Rabi' al-Awwal. And the authentic opinion of scholars that the Prophet was born on the 9th of the third month of the Islamic calendar. The consensus of all scholars that he died on the 12th of Rabi' al-Awwal or the third month of the Islamic calendar, which means when you claim to be celebrating the birth of the Prophet وسلم, you're actually celebrating his death. Second of all, you have to always have a pattern to follow to know if this is a sunnah or if it's an innovation. Anything that draws you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal has to have an evidence. You have to follow someone that is the Quran, follow the sunnah, follow the companions in order for you to be on the safe side. So if you come to the Mawlid, the celebration of the birthday of the Prophet وسلم, did the Prophet وسلم, celebrate his own Mawlid? The answer would be no. The only indication to his birthday was that he used to fast on Mondays. He never celebrated anything to do with the third month of the year, on the 12th that is. And they asked him, why do you fast Mondays? So he told them that this is the day that I was born in, and this is the day that I, had, I was revealed in. Allah revealed the Quran on that day. So, if you wish to celebrate the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ, fast every Monday. The Prophet himself did not celebrate his birthday, nor did his companions, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali. May Allah be pleased with them all. And no one doubted that they loved the Prophet ﷺ more than we did. The Prophet himself did not celebrate the birthday of his grandfather, Abraham, or Jesus, or Moses, or any of the prophets of Allah, which indicates that it is a clear innovation. So whoever celebrates the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ, he either knows more than the Prophet, and this is blasphemous, mm -hmm. because no one knows more than the Prophet ﷺ, or he is claiming that the Prophet knew that it, was, it is good to celebrate, but he did not inform his ummah. And again, he is accusing the Prophet ﷺ of betraying the message and not delivering all and this is again an act of blasphemy. In short, <coughs> celebrating the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ is an innovation, something that was fabricated not in the first hundred year or the second or the third. It was fabricated on the fourth uh, uh, century of Islam. So no one of the scholars ever approved of it or agreed to it. So if somebody turns around and says this is not uh, love of the Prophet. Is this, is this showing uh, any, say, unjust love towards the Prophet Well, this is a form of an escape because people who celebrate the birthday of the Prophet claim that there is a fabricated hadith, it's not authentic. Mm -hmm. They say that whoever, they say that this is a hadith, whoever celebrates the birthday, or my birthday, then Allah will forgive his sins. So it's like the Christians. They do whatever they do and then they celebrate on Christmas 
and do wrong things on Christmas and claim that by their belief in Jesus Christ, this erases all their sins. In Islam, likewise, those innovators claim that no matter what you do, if you come on the day of the birthday of the Prophet you know, cry a little bit, uh, uh, say some poetry, and pretend that you are celebrating the birthday of the Prophet this shows your great love, and hence, this will make all your sins forgiven. And this is completely wrong. If you love the Prophet, وسلم, you follow him in every single detail. Otherwise, you are claiming something and your actions are falsifying it.